mention... Dr. Stephen Rouse has had three PSA tests in the past few years. He's 61 years old. That, uh, that this PSA test offers a very good way, combined with a digital rectal exam, to diagnose a potentially fatal condition at a point in time that it can be successfully treated. Dr. David Ransehoff has chosen not to have a PSA test. He is 55 years old. The reality is that if you get a PSA test and if it's negative, everybody's happy. The patient's happy, the doctor's happy that they can be reassuring to the patient and so forth. If the test is positive, it becomes much more complicated. And there are a series of decisions that both the patient and the doctor are going to feel very compelled to, uh, to make or to consider making about biopsy, about aggressive therapy, if anything labeled cancer is found. And therefore, it's important to anticipate before you get the information, before you get the blood test, what are all the downstream consequences and how do I feel about them? And weighing all these things in balance, my own decision is this is a slippery slope that I really don't want to get on.